Well, with smartphones getting smarter every day and Wi-Fi finding you just about everywhere you go, it's likely you and your family are spending more and more time on the Internet. But probably not as much as the Ozawa family. As Dan Cook shows us, they may be addicted to technology. <laughs> I'm online to earn a living. I'm online to do things for fun. And I'm online to relax. That's basically it. This is Dad, Ryan, online at work. For the third time, talking about things online during his weekly show, Bite Marks, on public radio, students. and surfing online at home in Mililani. Plugged in all the time. <laughs> Even while watching television. Here's what I see. Remember that Hello, Hawaii Five-O episode where McGarrett and Chin Ho Kelly Chin -Ho reminisce Kelly. about high school? Chin Ho Kelly, Kukui High School. The next day, my friend and I, Valentino and I, said, we're going to make Kukui High real. So we made a website, we made a Facebook page, a Twitter account, and it just took off like wildfire. Ryan's wife, Jin, is a prolific tweeter. My mom follows me, so it's kind of a way for my mom and for other relatives to know what I'm up to. What does she tweet about? Life. Um, really boring stuff, actually, what I'm making for dinner. I like to tweet about what I'm reading because I like to read, too. <laughs> Sons Zach and Alex both know their way around an iPad ahead of the curve at Kipapa Elementary. Uh, hardly any kids at my school really think of iPads. Really? Hardly. I never heard yeah. any friend of kids that I don't know. Hardly any. And then there's Katie. At 12 years old, already a Facebook and Twitter veteran, she's even used the social networks to sell Girl Scout cookies, but always under Dad's watchful eye. Yeah, he um, he has a linked, I think, a linked account to my email. So whenever someone wants to follow me, it sends an email, and he's like, no, yes, no, yes. It's kind of cool, though, that your dad is looking out after you, right? I guess. <laughs> Ryan and Jen are doing a great job monitoring their kids' online activity, but they are in the minority. According to CybersafeFamily.com, only one-third of households are actively protecting their kids online. I can see there's a lot of things to be afraid of, you know, give, giving out too much information, being unsafe, and those are definitely the things that I focus on and try to teach. Play your favorite thing, buddy. To take some of the fear out of letting your kids interact with other people online, CybersafeFamily.com has an Internet safety program for families. It includes the top 10 concerns for parents, more than 25 lessons for kids, even software suggestions for filtering and monitoring online activity. That's CybersafeFamily.com. Bye. Later. Yo. I'm Dan Cook, Hawaii News Now. At least they still interact in person.